What's going on, Elite Family? This is Tyra Green Regiment. Today is day number 10, COVID Chaos Part 2. Now, this is the third time that you've seen this workout. So that means it's time to increase the tempo a bit. And we want to make sure that we're, we always, you know, care about perfect form, um, but just to get the form as, as close as possible. But remember, COVID Chaos Part 2 consists of six exercises, 50 reps each. Now, no, I don't expect you to get all 50 reps in, in one set or all at the same time. You can take a little five to 10 second break and then just get right back into it. It's all about getting to the 50 reps. Like that's all we care about. And we wanna do that with correct form. So now since this is the third time that you're doing this, or then again, if this is not the third time and this is your first time ever checking out any of our videos, watch this video and then go back to day one. But now it's all about form and speed at this point, right? And then as we transition into week three and week four, it's gonna be all about speed because the form will be easy for us, all right? So our first exercise, we're doing 50 reps of high knees. So, and we're alternating. So that's three, three, four, four, five, five. We want those knees up. Every single rep, the knees are gonna be up nice and high, or at least as high as you can get them. If you notice that you're getting tired and they're not that high, stop, take a breath, get back in, all right? So then uh, what we're gonna do, the next exercise, the Heisman. So with the Heisman, you're gonna stand, you're gonna start off straight, you're gonna jump to the left side and pull up that right knee and then alternate. That's what we want. So we wanna make sure that we really squeeze that oblique and then we can work on that speed a little bit. That's the Heisman. So 50 reps of that, one, one, two, two. Next exercise, we're gonna go with the lunge pivot so i know the lunge is a little bit difficult for a lot of people just because you have to work your balance but with the lunge pivot you want to reach down tap the floor and then jump up that's one that's two make sure we want to land softly on our heel and make sure we can jump right and switch to the next side and of course the modification is if you can't make that little hop touch the floor and just pivot to the next side. Trust me, after doing 50 reps of that, you'll get tired. Next, we're gonna do squat jumps. I know squat jumps take out, oh, they just take out all your energy, but they're so effective. They work the core, get those abs nice and strong, work the legs as well. So we're only gonna do 30 reps of those, and then as the weeks progress, we'll increase those reps a little bit. So with the squat jump, you know how to do a squat. So we wanna make sure that all 30 reps are max intensity and make sure that your form is correct but we don't have to worry about maximum speed right now. So just squat down, land softly. Squat down, land softly. Squat down, land softly. Now you notice that my knees are up nice and high. So if you have to take that break, five to 10 seconds, get right back into it, 30 reps. So now we have two more exercises to go and we are going to work our abs. So this is called the sprinter's crunch. We're gonna lay on the ground. I want you to bring up your knee and opposite elbow and crunch. That's one, one, two, two, three, three, all the way to 50. So then we have our very last exercise. Now these exercises are not, or the workout in general, it's not designed to take up your entire day. It's just designed to take up maybe 30 minutes, but if for it to be maximum intensity and for you to burn as many calories as possible within that amount of time. So, with this last exercise, these are plank oblique crunches. So you can get into that high plank position, take that knee, bring it to the side, and alternate. Two, two, three, three, now, as a modification, if you can't hold yourself up because you're struggling, because you're tired, I understand. You can come down right to the low plank and bring that knee up. So again, what you want to make sure is with every single rep, you are using perfect form because before you know it, you'll be at 50. Yes, you're going to be sweating. You're going to be breathing hard. But hey, Green Regiment wouldn't have it any other way. So again... COVID Chaos Part 2 in the books. Thank you for checking out this video. Pass these videos along. That was day 10. I mean, we're almost out of this quarantine. So just think about it. Like We were once at day one, month one. Now we're at month two, day 11 tomorrow. So there you have it. Share the videos with your friends and family. 
Check us out on YouTube as well, and we'll see you for day number 11.